According to Florence Nightingale, nursing is the act of utilizing the environment of patient to assist him in his recovery. She put forward this simple definition. She considered a clean, well-ventilated and quiet environment which is essential for recovery. She is considered the first nurse theorist. She raised the status of nursing through education. Nurses were no longer untrained housekeepers but people educated in care of sick. According to Virginia Henderson, she was one of the first modern nurses to define nursing. Nursing is the unique function of the nurse to assist the individual sick or well in the performance of those activities contributing to health or its recovery or to peaceful death that he would perform unaided if he had the necessary strength, will or knowledge and to do this in such a way as to help him gain independence as rapidly as possible. According to Virginia, it is a unique function. The nurse should assist the individual who is sick or well in performing the activities that activities contributing to the health or recovery. She should assist the person or patient for the, those activities which contributing to health or recovery or peaceful death. That the person or the patient would perform unaided if he had the necessary strength, will or knowledge. The person would perform unaided if he had the necessary strength, will or knowledge. For those activities, the nurse should assist. And the nurse should do this assistance in a way to help him gain independence as rapidly as possible. That is the meaning of this definition. Nurses assume a number of roles when they provide care to clients. Nurses often carry out those roles concurrently, not exclusively of one another. For example, the nurse may act as a counselor while providing physical care and teaching aspects of that care. The role required at a specific time depends upon the needs of client and aspects of the particular environment. Let's see who is a caregiver nurse. A caregiver nurse is a professional who takes care of elderly and others. Although they receive some training, they are not certified. A caregiver should assist the personal hygiene, dressing, cooking and cleaning activities and a caregiver is not performing any medical duties for their patients. They are assisting the client physically and psychologically while they are preserving the client's dignity. On the other hand, a registered nurse have received extensive training and have been certified to provide high levels of care to the patients. And they can provide some sort of medical care like measuring vital signs, monitoring medications, wound care and assisting in end of life care when needed. But a caregiver is not performing those activities. Next is role of nurse as a communicator. Nurse should communicate with client, support persons, other health professionals and people in the community. In the role of communicator, nurses should identify client's problem and then communicate this verbally or in writing to other members of healthcare team. The quality of a nurse's communication is an important factor in nursing care. The nurses must be able to communicate clearly and accurately in order to meet client's healthcare needs. Next is Role of nurse as a teacher. Nurse helps the client to learn about their health and healthcare procedures they need to perform to restore or maintain their health. Thereby, the client can accept their health condition and they will be ready to do any sort of medical procedures on them and they will realize that it is mandatory or it is necessary to restore or maintain their own health.
nurses assess the client's learning needs and readiness to learn. Then only she can teach effectively to her patients. Nurses also teach unlicensed assistive personnel to whom they delegate care. In certain hospitals, there are assistive personnel. Nurses can teach those personnel, you should do this to this, your patient or you should not do this to your patient. Like that, she can teach the unlicensed assistive personnel. Nurses can also share their expertise with other nurses and other healthcare professionals. Next is nurse educator. Nurse can act as a teacher at any setting. But thing is different in case of a nurse educator. A nurse educator is a registered nurse who have completed advanced nursing degrees which allows them to teach nursing curriculum at colleges and universities. Teaching and helping to train the future nurses of the world. They serve as faculty members in both nursing schools and teaching hospitals, transferring their valuable knowledge, experience and skill set to their students who will ultimately serve as next generation of nurses. Many nurse educators, in addition to working in classroom and teaching, also they work in clinical setting. The best nurse educator will exhibit exceptional leadership qualities and have excellent communication abilities and have in-depth comprehensive knowledge in their given field. Nurse can act as client advocate. According to American Nursing Association, the nurse promotes, advocates for and protects the rights, health and safety of patients. Nurses may represent clients' needs and wishes to other healthcare professionals, including physicians. She should assist the client in exercising their rights and helps them to speak up for themselves. Nurse can act as a counselor. Due to certain diseases, the patient may undergo stressful psychological or social problems. So, counseling helps the client to recognize and cope up with stressful situations. Counseling helps to promote personal growth. It involves providing emotional, intellectual and psychological support. The nurse counsels primarily healthy individual with normal adjustment difficulties and focus on helping a person developing new attitudes. The client or the patient may not be able to perform normal activities so that they may experience stress and psychological problem, the nurse counsel helps the person to cope up with alternative behaviors and to recognize choices and develop a sense of control. Can you say who is a change agent? For example, if a company is facing continuously some problems and one of the staff member can contribute significantly to resolve that problem, then that staff is a change agent. Similarly, in nursing, a nurse can act as a change agent when assisting clients. She can make modifications in clients' behavior. If the ongoing healthcare delivery is not helping a client to return to their health, she can act as a change agent in such situation. Uh, she can make change in the clinical care or a technological change or a medication change. If that particular change will result in a positive aspect in client health, she is called a change agent. Next is role of nurse as a leader. A leader influences to work together to accomplish a specific goal. For that, she should have strong communication skills, critical thinking, and organizational skills. The leader role can be played at different levels, individual client, family, group of clients, colleagues, or the community. A nurse manager is an individual in medical setting with decision-making power to influence daily operations. 
Nurse Manager creates department schedules that identify when nurses and other staff members will work. She influences how and why hospital healthcare organizations use certain processes. She is the person who is supervising nursing staff members as they serve patients, address patient conflicts, communicate with family members, and perform all other necessary aspects. Next is case manager. Previously, we have seen nurse manager who is managing nursing care of individuals, families, and communities. But case manager is managing the cases. She is otherwise known as care coordinator, specializes in the organization and collaboration of patient care and treatment by all members of healthcare team. Often patients will be managed by multiple specialists and there will be numerous doctors involved. Their case manager will ensure all of them are working as a team to provide the best care for the patient. Responsibilities may vary from managing acute hospitalization to managing high cost client or case types. Regardless of setting, case managers help ensure that care is oriented to the client while controlling cost. Nurses are the users or consumers of nursing research. These consumers read research reports to develop new skills and to search for relevant findings that may affect their practice. This minimum involvement in nursing research must be maintained by all nurses. Nurses often use this research to improve client care in clinical area. Nurses need to be aware of process and language of research, be sensitive to rights of human subjects, identification of significant researchable problems and be a discriminating consumer of research findings. There are certain expanded career roles. That means the roles which needs increased responsibility in practice area. First one is nurse researcher. Nurse researcher is doing research. They are scientists who study various aspects of health, illness and healthcare. Next is nurse practitioner. It's an advanced practice nurse. They are the type of mid-level practitioners. They are trained to assess patient needs, order an in-depth diagnostic and laboratory tests, diagnose diseases, formulate and prescribe medications. Clinical nurse specialist is an advanced practice nurse who can provide an advice related to specific conditions or treatment pathways. Nurse midwife or certified nurse midwife Advanced practice nurse who provides comprehensive medical and holistic care to and emotional support to pregnant and postpartum mothers to help and ensure women have a healthy, safe pregnancy, delivery and postpartum period. Nurse anesthetist is a specialist who provides pain medications for patients before, during and after surgery. She will administer medications to keep patients asleep and pain-free during surgery and constantly monitor biological function of patient's body. If you found this video helpful, please do like, comment, share and subscribe.